uh, the, the vasodilator, the dilating yeah. sort of effects, um, you know, are often used by, you know, athletes uh, in order to improve their, their performance in the gym. So I was, I'm just curious if you sort of seen or, or heard anything about so the- Where I would use there. it is not for athletes in that circumstance, but where I would use it is after surgery sometimes. Mm. Um, I want to improve the blood supply because blood supply brings in nutrients and growth factors into that area. So I do think that it does have a benefit when I put them on low dose PD-5 inhibitors after. And traditionally, after men have radical prostates, uh, there's a period of time before their nerves come back to working because they've been stretched during the procedure, they may, whatever they have, while they're recovering. So the smooth muscle in the penis basically is not active. And if it's not active, it becomes fibrotic and it becomes atrophic. By putting in a PD-5 inhibitor, you increase the blood supply and it seems to uh, rejuvenate the muscle to a certain extent. And that's the concept. And we did that in a lot of rat experiments and showed that it worked. It doesn't seem to work as well in humans, but it, as far as uh, preventative, uh, preventative uh, method, as I was mentioning before, but it will help men get erections, no question. So from a psychological standpoint, those men that do respond to PD-5 inhibitors after that type of procedure, will benefit from these agents. But I will say that after reconstructive procedures, when I do Peyronie's disease, in order to improve the blood supply, a low dose like dead allophil would be very beneficial for these guys. That's, that's a very interesting use case. Um, have you seen any of the studies on the hormonal effects as well? I, I've seen some, some indications that it could potentially uh, increase testosterone just a little bit um, uh, as well. Well, uh, I haven't really. No, I don't. I don't uh, think that's the case. This agent works on a different. If patients are emotionally uh, benefited, then I think there may be a, a, a potential benefit to these guys that feel so much better. They have good erections. You can imagine a guy that hasn't had a morning erection in five years and all of a sudden has one. Uh, that he feels wonderful. He feels like five years younger or 10 years younger, something like he feels like a young kid. So this in itself will probably work onto the whole hormonal axis and cause mm -hmm. um, testosterone to rise a little bit. He's happier, the world's happier because he's happier. So um, I think that's the benefit from it. Uh, but as far as working on the hormone system, I'm not aware of any um, direct studies on different enzyme levels that this would work at.